publication bias is anything that affects uh, whether studies that lean one way or lean, lean another way actually get into the published literature. And this is really critical because the only science that we know about is the science that gets published. So if somebody does a study and for some reason it sits in their computer, in the file drawer, wherever, and it's never put in the published literature, for all practical purposes, it doesn't exist. And it's evidence and the, and the contribution that the subjects or people who participated in that research, that contribution is for naught. But our concern, aside from that, is that it distorts the picture you get in the medical literature. So if um, studies that showed that a particular product or intervention didn't work, preferentially or not there, our opinions will be biased towards the, the uh, conclusion that it does work when perhaps it doesn't. Um, so that's what publication bias is. It's any, any forces, any influence, um, and sometimes it's, it, 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 it comes from the investigator themselves. It's, they find that the study is not very interesting for a variety of reasons, or they don't think that it can be published in a particularly good journal. Um, and we find that the vast majority of studies that are not published are not published because the investigator simply hasn't uh, prepared it for publication. But to the extent that this distorts the evidence base, that's what publication bias is.